as I'm at farm shows and work of growers, I always get the question about how hard does a 360 bullet pull? Obviously, we got twice the wing as, let's say, a K7 inch wing point or the laser point. And so we always believe there's going to be a little more draft. But to settle that question today, we're going to have this Agco 1050 pulling identical rippers. One will be set up of nine shanks of the 360 bullet. The other will be set up at nine shanks of the seven inch tiger point. And to help this, we put a digital load link in here. It's a wireless. And so it gives us a constant pull up to 55,000 pounds of draft. And it measures it continuously. And then it charts us the actual draft as we go through the field. And so we realize that everybody's soil is gonna pull different. So whether you're from Missouri or Minnesota or Nebraska, all farms are gonna pull different. This is gonna be a side-by-side -side comparison. And we're gonna set it up correctly where we're gonna leave at least 30 inches of virgin ground on each side of the ripper each time so that they pull exactly the same. I've taken a tape and I've measured to make sure the cylinder is the exact same extension for the front gang disc. And then we have both of them set at exactly at 11 and a half inches. So we should get to have a lot of fun here and get a pretty good view of how hard or how easy these rippers pull in a comparison to each other. And we have a pit team here with us. We have a track skid loader and another tractor to help turn it around because you can see the length of that link. We can't pick this ripper out of the ground. So we set them in, get everything set. We pull straight through and we'll do four passes like this and then we'll average them. We'll get a pretty good read on exactly what is the draft pulling like today in this corn on corn field. So to put it to the test, we went to a local dairy that had a wheat field that had been cut. After it had gone through some pretty hot, warm temperatures this summer, that ground had collapsed down, something we're used to seeing. They'd also spread dry manure over it with a high density spreader. So as we put the two rippers side by side, the bullet with a 14 inch point and an OEM with a seven inch point, even as we're doing twice as much work with high horsepower, the load length showed quite a difference. It was 30,000 pounds of draft for the bullet and 26,500 for the OEM ripper. Not surprising that the 12.67% harder pull when you consider that they had the style ripper the previous year with that style of point that leaves a lot of berms. So when you come in and you fracture in year one with a bullet and then come back, I expect it to be quite a bit closer. So as we go back to the proving grounds in this corn on corn field, that's the exact scenario that we had. The previous fall, we used the bullet across this 30 acre field. We come in with the digital load links, and now we see the two rippers running side by side and repeat it pass after pass, exactly both at 19,000 pounds of draft. So it's easy to see the difference once we fracture that density and we come in in year two, 0% difference between the two rippers.